Hey, good morning. It's always in stitches again on Thursday morning, February 20, what? 20, 22nd? Gosh, that's crazy. It's just about, now, we do get an extra day in February because it's leap year. Yeah. So everybody was born on leap year day. They have a, they get to year, a year older finally. <laughs> um, so Peter's behind the camera. Say hey, Peter. Hi, everybody. And we are in our blender section. So we don't usually start back here. We decided we needed to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, if you don't know, we have like two whole bays that are nothing but blenders. And by that, they're just sorted by color. Um, there's a few pieces in here that are left over from lines. Most of them are left over from fabric lines we bought in specific. But uh, we sort it by color because sometimes you just need that particular blue or that particular pink or you know, purple or whatever. Purple I can't hardly keep in. Purple y'all buy faster than we can get it. Um, but anyway, we sort it, sort it by color. And so um, this is a fun area. But occasionally I order specific patterns just because I can. And I ordered a couple pieces just because they were fun. This flamingo, and it's upside down. Turn it around so we can see how pretty it is. So we brought, I bought this flamingo in and they, it went right to the blender wall just because, you know, it was, it was flamingos and I had to have it. So it's probably going to hang in my bathroom as a curtain. But this one's really pretty. Actually, the one beside it's really pretty too. And then there's feathers down here too. Pink feathers. Look at these feathers. If I was looking for pink, that's just fun. I mean, it's feathers, but it's not like feathers. It doesn't scream feathers. Um, so we also, I guess my point in showing you this is we also buy things to go in our blender wall. Um, there's a, also a, a palm frond. If you're doing a tropical decor, it's almost got an electric color to it. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. It this does. Is, it is. It's kind of electric. But It's electrifying. It's electrifying. Um, and just whatever you need is in here. It, this is kind of a hodgepodge of things. Um, and here's the fun part. <laughs> this is what always gets interesting. When we, we start sorting these fabrics by color, you can look at a bolt and somebody goes, well, I think that should go in the green section. And somebody goes, well, no, it needs to go in the pink section. It's like, how do you, like, this is a perfect example. Where does that go? <laughs> is it green? Is it blue? Is it pink? Is it, is it yellow? Yes, yes, and yes. So, um, <laughs> it, gets, it gets a little interesting. We have had a game of, okay, where do you put this piece? So anyway, this is our blender wall and I just wanted you to see some fabric over here to know this is perfectly good quilting fabric. What happens the way the fabric moves through the store is it's a featured fabric in the main part of the shop and then it, what doesn't sell out of the lines we bring over here and it gets to be in the blender area for a while and then when this area gets too full it goes back to the clearance room. So that's kind of the, the livelihood of a bolt of fabric. Um, if, if it doesn't sell out there, it comes over here. If it doesn't sell out here, it goes to the clearance room. And when it gets to the clearance room, y'all buy it like crazy because that's 40% off the retail price back there. You guys love our clearance room for good reason, for good reason. So anyway. Um, oh, and then sometimes people love fabric so much when we get it in that there's only a yard or two left on the bolt. And then you do the flat folds. Yeah. Our famous flat folds. Oh my gosh. Our flat folds sell like crazy. They're one, two, and three yard cuts, and they are just random flat folds, and that's exactly what we call them, and they are less expensive than our clearance room. But you're getting a chunk. You're getting, and you know, it's, it, is what, it is what it is, and you don't fuss about, I want a different size, and you don't ask for more of that, because if it's in the one, two, three yard flat folds, it's at the end of the, end of the bolt, it's no more. So um, anyway, it's fun. We, we, we try to give you opportunities to shop and not have to spend a small fortune buying your fabric because we know fabric's gotten very expensive, but it's also worth the investment because if you're going to make a project, I don't want to spend 400 hours making a quilt and then have it fall apart the minute that it's you know washed for the first time. So the better quality quilt fabric is worth your investment in time. So we try to make it affordable all the way through the store. So. That's it for this area. We're gonna head over here and look at a couple new fabric lines that we got in. One, it might be Peter's favorite this week. <laughs> this week. It he's, is? He's which to one? Think, well, you'll see. Let's go over there and look. Oh, I know which one. <laughs> I know which one. 
I know which one. You know which one, don't I you? Figured I figured it out. Here, we'll cruise through the machine department. Say hi to Kathy. What's Kathy wearing today? I don't know. Not it's exciting. It's Nothing really exciting it's today. It's cute. So. She's yeah, cute. She's yeah. fashionable always. Sometimes I'm funky looking though. Funky fun. Funky, funky, fun. fun. funky fresh. Funky fresh. Funky fresh fun. Okay, here we go. Here's a cute one. Right now it's about... Uh, like, yeah, okay, so this is the line I think Peter's going to like really, really, really just love. It's called um, Michael Miller Company Happy Trails. Now, y'all know there's a quilt uh, shop hop coming up with their quilts called Happy Trails. But this fabric is called Happy Trails. Hi, right, come on in. Don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, he's like. <laughs> oh, now that you tempt. Now that you tempt us, we'll put you on the camera. You can't hide. Um, but this Happy Trails line is really, really cute. I think I see a little boy nursery or uh, or a big boy quilt, right, Peter? Yeah, big boy quilt. Big boy quilt would be perfect. Um, but these are so cute. This vintage style of fabric is really popular right now. We've got vintage Christmas, we've got that we've ordered. It won't be here till June, but the the vintage Valentine's Day we had, we showed you that last week and now here we are with this vintage. Look at this piece. That's just a bandana waiting to happen. Mhm. Mm That's so cute. And here's a shirt. I can see a little blouse made out of that. That would be cute. This one's fun. Look at this one. This is kind of an interesting pattern. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that fun? Very cool. So, and here's a plaid. That's a good little check plaid kind of thing. If I was making placemats or tablecloths, little tablecloths. Look at this. Yes. Isn't that sweet? It's cowgirls, cowboys, both. So if I was doing a nursery right now, I think this might be a really fun idea. So cute. So very cute. All right, so that's one line that came in again. Michael Miller. Uh, this this print's really neat too. That one is it, and that one, those two prints. Oh whoa, Nelly, happy yeah. trails. Look how cute that is. Because you can do a lot with with those blocks, those you squares. Could. You could actually make a cute little book, like cut those up and make it into a book for a child. Wouldn't that be a fun little cloth? Book? That would be a good idea for a yeah, cloth. Yeah, because you got to have room to cut between these. You uh -huh, could make a little uh -huh, cloth book. Uh -huh. And that this kids just like really to look cool. at pictures. That's your border print. Um, I like that border print. I do too. I like the a lot blue and the red between them. That's fun. And that's really pretty. It's a good beige background too. And there is a pattern here called Little Rodeo. Free pattern. They're using that, making some pinwheels around it, which is super cute. Um, it's a 36 by 42 quilt, so perfect little lap size for little people to throw on the floor and stomp around on or, you know, cuddle up a little baby with. Love this. This is really, really cute. Or a little cowboy to have his little quilt when he goes yeah. to the rodeo. Yep, yeah. and see, there's even the cow, cow hide print. That's what I want to say, cow hide. There you go. Every little cowboy needs that. For, a, for the little buckaroo. The little buckaroo. That's a good one. And then there's another group we got in that are kind of solid-ish called Patina. Let me show you those. <laughs> so this is um, our solids area. We showed you our blenders area. This is our solids area. These are going to be your tone-on-tones and your solid-ish colors. We'll call them solid-ish because they're not truly solid, all of them. But there are true solids in here. Okay, this is driving me crazy. Messy bowl. So if you, if any of you've ever been to Shipshawana, which is north of here, there's a store called Lollies, and if you walk in that store, every single bolt is perfect. And I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they keep up with the customers and not, not have bolts everywhere. But anyway, okay, straighten that up. Um, okay, this is called Patina. And this comes, and I think we showed you a little bit of this wow. in a previous video. That's pretty. But what we're doing is we're building this collection. I think there's like 65 or something of this. And we're just b getting a little more each time. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I, this would be a great fat quarter bundle, honestly. Wouldn't it? Uh, these down here are from another one. These are Northcott, but these up here are called Patina. They're from the Michael Miller Company, and they're just great tonals. Because what's so fun about these is 
it picks up so many different colors and so if you're working in a quilt and you want to you know add a little something it's going to give you something that has lots of color depth these are also nice for linings in handbags i love to use these for linings on bags or for piping like if you're i want to so make right. piping yes. this makes nice piping because of the color tones in it um and i i just this is one of those things it's like i need a half a yard of everybody just because you're going to need it to you always need a little solid in something, you know. Look how pretty it is. It has, there's a fat quarter in it. It's got a nice, almost mm, color that's wash. That's a pretty color. Isn't that pretty? It's like a color wash to it. So, anyway, that's called, that's from Michael Miller. It's called Patina. And we're, we're getting the colors in collectively as we can, pretty much the whole line. Um, and then there's another one over here. Okay. When you see this one, you'll know exactly why I bought it. Because it's just too perfect. Come on over here. So every two months, every two months, we have two bags of coffee. That way we never run out. And then the other one, we take out and we mix back and forth. Here we go. Now we're showing you Summer from the Wyndham Company. And these are basically all stripes. And they're every color you can imagine. But I bought these for bindings. I could bias cut bindings. This would be beautiful. And they're, they're very bright. It's very, very bright. Here's a blue, here's a purple, here's a black and white. That's right. Can't go wrong with any of these. It is worth it. There you go. So these are called Summer well, Friday by uh, yeah. Wyndham. Is that what I said? Uh, it's, uh, it's in the Whistler Studios. Room. Wyndham Fabrics. Okay. And we got somebody in here, I think, looking at a cabinet. Can you hear him planning the out the sewing room? <laughs> All right, pool, we're going to go back to yarn down. and look at some yarn. Let's head back that way. Okay, so I just work here. <laughs> Peter and I just work here. And I was getting out front to go do the video today, and I walked past this little thing, and it just caught my eye, especially since we're going into spring. Oh, that's so appropriate Isn't for spring. it perfect? Look at the little bunnies. Look how long their little ears are. I'm not like, you have to tell the story of your short ear so bunny. So I have this little bunny that hangs out in the front yard, and he was kind of sleeping this morning as I left for work. I could see his eyes squinting. But anyway, I call him my little short-eared bunny because he has the shortest little ears that I've ever seen on any rabbit. So I always look for him so that way I can see his short ears. And I wonder why he has short ears. That's so funny. I think it's just a, you know. Just a defect. Yeah. We had not a, a defect, but you know, whatever. That's the way he's made. Yeah. We have had a squirrel that was here by the shop that when we first opened, and we've been open 17 years now. I haven't seen him for a while, so he may be gone. And we called him Stubby because he didn't he didn't have all his tail. Have you seen him, Kathy? I haven't seen him in a long time. But we called him Stubby because he didn't have but about that much of a squirrel tail. And he was he was always out and about, and now he's gone. So. I hadn't seen him for a year or two. Yeah. But I didn't see him last year. I didn't either. I think he's gone. But anyway, we look, we're just we're kind of animal people here. <laughs> we've all got pets, and we've all got. I need to get pictures of everybody's pets and see if we could figure out whose pet belongs to who. That'd be a fun game. Ooh, that's a thought. I have too many ideas. Okay, well, this is the pattern that I just showed you. It's from the Birdhouse Patchwork Designs, and it's called the Ma Bunny Pin Cushion. Ma Bunny Pin Cushion. Ma Bunny Pin Cushion. And it's super, super cute. And I just, it caught my eye, and somebody goes, well, that's been here since June. Okay, well, I'm a little slow sometimes. I don't always see what's out there. But this is a table we've got sitting in the center of the um, embroidery cross-stitch not cross stitch it's actually before cross stitch it's wool and embroidery and there's all kinds of fun little projects out here for you to look at um, and samples we really we literally have over a thousand samples in the store and they're here to inspire you and make you kind of go oh I can do that I can do that um, and I'm sure you can so if you can't we'll teach you how so come shop around in our embroidery area there's always new things here <laughs> For some of us, there's old things that seem new because we're not paying attention. Have so. you seen this one? No, that is so cute. Little pillow. That is stinking cute. 
too many cute things. I, it's, I, I know why people come in here and spend three or four hours. I mean, literally, it, um, and just wander around and just look. There, it's, it's walk, it's, it's a walking tour of fabric art every day. I think, and it's fun to be able to work here and have that opportunity. So, it's so, a museum. It is a museum in some ways. Some of us are museum worthy. <laughs> It's a museum of natural hand arts. Uh, yeah, and some of the staff is museum worthy. <laughs> We've been around for too long. At right. what point does it qualify to be an antique? Isn't it 50 years? I think it's 50 years. Or is it 75? 50 or 75. There's there's an age where they call it vintage, and then it becomes an antique. antique. And I don't know where that yes. transition is. I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Somebody answer that. You always have the answers on there when you when we comment. You guys know the answer. So look at this. Look how fun this is. Look at this. It's a it's a. We have the coolest stuff. I I'll know. Tell you okay, what. so it's a doorknob with a, a I'm not sure. It's a pumpkin on a stick. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I hadn't seen it. Oh, hey, there's the quilt that blew up on uh, social media. Oh, that yeah. barn quilt. So Got one book left. When the cows come <laughs> home. Was, I'm going to go get it. Let's go get a closer look. Go get a closer look. picture. This is a oh, funny story. We, we, uh, We've had this hanging in here for years. Um, Let's see. I can maybe tell you. It's longer than that. It's been here a while. Because um, this was a group effort. I think the staff, like everybody took a block and made a block. I didn't because <laughs> it was wool. I don't, I don't think I did. I don't remember doing it if I did. Um, but the, uh, it was a cooperative project, I do believe. And um, it's flannel and it's wool and it's cotton and it's a little bit of everything, which is fine. You can mix your your fiber media. That's okay. Contrary to popular belief, it is a, it is very appropriate to do that and change it up. Um, but a customer bought the kit from us, or the quilt, or the book, or whatever, and she made it. And Peter posted a picture on our Facebook that Kathy in our sewing department took. Okay. Okay. Kathy took this picture, this beautiful picture. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, I posted it. <laughs> and then what happened, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> it, blew, it, went it went viral. Everybody's like, oh my God, I love that quilt. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, so Everybody get... loved it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. And we're getting phone calls from literally all over. All people over. People wanting this book, Where the Cows Come Home. And we've ordered enough that if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I saw it and I want it. Um, here it is. It's a, a block of the month program, but you don't have to do it as a block of the month. Obviously, you can buy the whole thing. It, and it just absolutely blew up. Um, so if you're watching this and you found that and you're like, oh, I needed the book. Where do I get it? Here's where you get it. We can get it for you. No problem. But uh, yeah, it just went crazy. It went crazy. So anyway, it's a fun quilt. I know why it went crazy because it's super fun. All right, let's go back and look at yarn. Talk about going crazy. Mm, let's go look at the knit along yarn. Walmart. Got our stuff in. Jessica's knitting swatches. Oh, here, this is another thing to tell them. So we figured out that um, one of the things we needed to do for you guys was to knit little swatches of our yarn so you could see how the yarn knits. So which one are you working on now, Jessica? This is Barocco's Remix in the worsted weight. It's a neat yarn because it's got a little bit of a lot of stuff in it. It's 100% recycled fibers, it's got some cotton, it's got some silk, it's got who knows what I'll ask. It's neat, right? So as I'm knitting it, it feels a fair bit like cotton but not quite as stiff. But it's just a little traditional swatch with a garter stitch at the start and garter stitch edges. And it'll just give you a chance to feel it, to handle it, and see if you, if you like it. Because sometimes when it's wrapped up in a ball or a skein, mm -hmm. you look at it and you go, eh. And then when you touch it, you're like, oh. oh. And that's, that's we, we've actually been surprised. Here's another one that I'm blocking. This is um, Barocco Lanas in the colorway Aquamarine. Pam mm. knit this one yesterday. And so I've dampened it. And I've pinned it out so Look at that, that it can beautiful dry. Beautiful variegation, right? Isn't that the pretty? colors lovely. They just blend so well. 
Pam wants to do a cabled sweater with it. She thinks it would just be stunning. <laughs> okay, so my motive in, op in, in considering now, this option are, was to yeah. get the staff to buy more yarn. You have to swatch oh, all is the that yarn. What? <laughs> <laughs> you need another project. <laughs> you don't make money when you want We don't need swatch for the <laughs> swatch, yeah, swatches money, for the customers. Money. Well, it, this this will be an ongoing project for the staff, so um, they're going to have more information about our yarn. And I think Jessica, your point's perfectly made. Um, this is going to be great because you can actually touch it and see. Oh yeah, that's how that knits up. Yeah, I do want to use that. Um, we're also including on these swatches the needle size that we used, exactly which yarn it was. Um, you'll see a swatch like, for instance, this yarn. We have more than one color, but we're only going to swatch it in the one color. So you can, you know, then you have to use your imagination how the colors look. But um, yeah, this feels—it's so interesting how different it feels when it's swatched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The That's fall. the amazing thing about knitting is that sure it feels one way in the skein, but man, when you can actually feel it and like. See how it drapes and, and oh, doesn't drape, so you know, it yummy. just depends on what you're doing. I'm one of those ridiculous people who swatches regularly, in part because I do a lot of hand spun, but I want to see how it's going to behave. Is it is it going to be loose and flowy? Is it going to be stiff as a board? And I want to know right before I invest yeah. in a sweater or a sock even. I want to know what's my yarn going to play like. Is it going to play nice? Is it going to play mean? Are my hands going to like <laughs> it? Well, and I think the other part, thats those are great points. I think the other part is now we can, as a retailer, go, oh, we knitted a swatch in that one. That yarn was bleh. We don't like it. Or we knitted a swatch in that one, and oh, wow, we love this. So far, by it's Mar. the other way, right? Is it? Because two for two, two I did Mystico, which is a airy, it looks like it should be a mohair but it's really an alpaca. Mm. It's an alpaca cotton blend. And I'm like, oh, uh -oh. this is, mm. she's going. And yeah. you make your own yarn. You don't need to buy yarn. You've got a yarn. Need. We're not talking need, need Kathy. Yeah, you got to use your words more I carefully. The, word. <laughs> the other part is when we knit these little swatches, when we, when we, not, we is the collective. I am not included in that collective. It will be primarily the gals back here and Peter will get to do some too, I'm sure. But, um, when we do this, then we're going to have a skein that will have had a swatch taken off of it. Here's the good part. That skein that was swatched, we're going to sell that one skein at half price. So if you're like, oh, okay, I'd like to try that yarn. Well, you're going to get a really good deal on that skein because it will have had a swatch taken out of it. So that's kind of nice, too. I mean, for those people looking for, Just you know. Just practice or try it right, out. Try it out or a one skein project that you, maybe you can get away with not having a full skein. I think it'll work for that, too. So. Yeah. Lots of fun things going to happen out of this. Lots so, of fun. Oh, and a reason to pet. I just want to pet that. Oh my gosh, that is really pretty. I wonder if I could get her to make a sweater for me. <laughs> ooh. 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 ooh, ooh, I know, I know. That's a bit much. I should wait till close to payday. <laughs> Would you do that for me? Okay. Never mind. Okay, but let's, as long as we're talking about yarn, let's go look at the knit along back here. Thanks, Jessica. You're welcome. Okay. We talked about this knit along last week. Oh my goodness, it's blowing up. The patterns, we didn't know for sure when the patterns were coming. The patterns are out. So if you signed up at the Malabrigo uh, knit along website, which is just put in Malabrigo K-A-L and they'll find, you'll find it. Um, that's where you sign up to get the pattern. We do not have the pattern. You have to go to Malabrigo to get the pattern. But we are offering a group that starts at 1030 on the first Friday in March that will be a collective group where they're just going to sit and knit together. No charge for this, but there might be some door prizes involved, so you might want to come participate in that. In order to make this shawl and get the prizes, you have to use all of the Dosteros yarn in the shawl, and it takes three skeins. And you can see we've got a really, really nice selection. We just got our third shipment in of this particular type of yarn so that you can use it in your shawls. Now you could use all one color, you could use, you can mix the colors up. This uh, fuchsia, I'm gonna stick it under the camera. This fuchsia is the one we just got in and I'm just, oh, I'm in love with this color. I really, really am. Very pretty. So they got home just in time for the snow to start. Looks really good. <laughs> That's what happens. And there's, the, of course, the orange and there's this bright blue if you're into the brighter colors. And then we do have the same colors that were used in our shawl, yes. so that if you want to, you can make the same colorway as what we used. So there's this one, and 
that teal. I don't see that teal right now, but it's here somewhere. There it is. Very good. So there you go. So you can do it in the same colors. Now, these are all hand dyed, so you're going to see some variation there. It may not come out exactly looking like hers because the colors are, um, are hand dyed. So just be prepared for that. So that takes care of that. Now, let's talk about a few things I have here in my hot little hand. I just brought them back here so we'd have some room to spread out and I could talk to you about them. So, do you know what's happening in Indiana on April 8th, Peter? Um, April showers, bring me flowers. April showers, bring more flowers. Well, I think we're going to have a 3D movie to watch. Do you remember 3D glasses? Did you ever go to a movie and wear 3D glasses? Um, yes. Did you? Yes. It's such a big it deal. It was an animation of that Christmas Carol, I believe. At Ooh, IMAX. that would be creepy. It That's was. That's like a creepy movie. It was creepy. Wow. I'm yeah, impressed. that and was IMAX a, that was decades ago. Decades ago, decades ago. Okay, Man. well, these look like the old 3D glasses. And oh, I know. They're closing schools because we're going to be in a total darkness. Yes, well, uh, that may be a little little dramatic but but it kind of feels that way i'm getting emails about like close the doors close everything to get your gas in your car get your groceries get everything because it's like the y2k things happening all over again and the yeah. world's going to end when the sun is behind the moon or the moon's behind the sun i forget which way it works but yeah. anyway something's happened it's a total eclipse and and i'm not a scientist nor do i play one on television so i don't know how it works but i do know that you cannot look at the sun it's against, like, biology of your body will burn the retinas. Burn your eyes. retinas. Burn so, your eyeballs. Because we want everybody to be safe and we're the nice store, we have the glasses. <laughs> and I don't even know how much they are. I don't have a tag. Come to our parking lot for a viewing party. Yeah, yeah. We got we could. We, could we should have. have we should ask banters to see if they want to do a cookout. Yeah, that'd and then be, we could do fun. like you know. They are doing. We can a lot. make this like a whole thing. Well, we're in the line of total totality. I think that's what they call it. Uh huh. Jessica knows. She's the yeah, scientist Indiana, in the building. She's Indiana. shaking her head. I poor Jessica. I I give her reason to take nerve medicine because I say words wrong and I, I misexplain things. But like dos taras. Like dos taras. I say that wrong. And there's and the. I say Oreo, and it's not Oreo. How is it, Jessica? Arroyo. Arroyo. See, Arroyo? Does it drive you to? I didn't know you were talking about yarn. Well. I mean, I did previous Dos Tierras. Dos Tierras. Well, there's another yarn. Say it, Jessica. Arroyo. Arroyo. Not Oreo. Not Oreo. <laughs> so I'm going to start calling this the tiramisu yarn tiramisu. because <laughs> it's Dos Tierras <laughs> and there's tiramisu. It's the tiramisu yarn. It's the tiramisu yarn. I'm with they that. use Italian alpacas. Hey, you know what we should do is have tiramisu for the party. Wouldn't yes. That Make that happen. Here? Wouldn't that be fun? You can get it in bulk from Buca de Beppo. Oh, really? Well, you know, you can get a Beppo. huge round eight inch tiramisu it's probably from like Buca de Beppo. Fifty bucks, right? Well, you got to pay to play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Well, anyway, I digress. We have so the the look. You know, they shouldn't leave us alone for very long. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Our peanut gallery is pretty nutty. Um, but we do have these glasses here, and really and truly, it is a safety concern because they're they're not letting the kids go to school that day because they are concerned that the school can manage telling all the kids don't look at the sky. So um, a lot of businesses I think are closing and they're expecting a tremendous amount of traffic to come through, particularly our area, because we are in the in the field of totality where it will be completely dark. Now I'm I kinda sorta remember when we had this before and it's not like it's a weird dark. It's not like nighttime dark. It's like dusk and things glow in a weird way. I mean, it's just very weird. If you haven't seen this, you'll, it'll be interesting. But anyway, buy your glasses here. We have them. And you know, you cannot see anything through these. I'm just telling you. You can't? No, like 3D glasses, you put on, they make things, but this is, that's completely dark. I can't Let me borrow see. those. There's nothing. You can't Let me borrow see, these. You can't see Let me anything. See. Let me it's see like if I can totally see black. anything. You can't. So when they go so and see, I can go. So when they go and, and kidnap, when they go and kidnap people, like this is what they're putting over their face, so they I can't see. I think it see. is. Yeah, it's a kidnap toy. They're so kidnap glasses. <laughs> we might want to be careful because somebody might get kidnapped if they buy these. Oh well. Anyway, we have them for sale. If you want them, you can get them. Um, I think they're just solar eclipse glasses, is what they're called. And then we just got these in. I'm thinking these are stinking cute. I may have to make these. 
Oh wow! What are those? They're they're flying geese that are fit in what? these. What? Okay, see how little those are? A one by one point seven five. It's are you teeny, kidding me? It's teeny, teeny, tiny, and they're earrings. And see, why there's a little is it Dawn going crazy about these? I know this is a Dawn thing if there this ever was. This is a Dawn thing if there ever was. Fabric and Dawn included. loves her earrings. She does. I might she have to does. Sure she sees this. So these are little patchwork earrings that you make the little flying geese, and then you have a pair of earrings. We should make these for Dawn. I know we should. Well, yeah. I got to talk about Dawn stuff in a minute, anyway, too. Um, okay, then these came in, and these are, these are some. This was something that Dawn was really excited about. These are the square up. Oh, rulers. I got to use it. Did you like it? She let me use it. Yes, it's deceptively simple. Is it? Okay. It's so easy. So this I is for it. squaring up your half square triangles. Um, it squares pieces up to six and a half, and this squares pieces up to four and a half. And there's little slots that you can put them in. You can cut off the little wings, and you can make sure it's right. And when we have our staff meeting on Friday mornings, uh, several people bring hand things to do because as fascinating as our staff meetings are, <laughs> unfortunately, some people have to keep their hands busy all the time. That's not unfortunate. I don't mean it that way. But some people listen better if they're doing something with their hands at the same time. So a lot of our staff bring things in. And what Dawn usually brings is she has, she works for Moda, so she's always making samples. And she has half square triangles. Like, I think the woman, that's all she does is make half square triangles. I really do. So these were really helpful for her. Um, we're doing a, a stitch along that I got a feeling we're going to be offering these as an opportunity. You're going to really want them as well. So um, they're quilt in a day triangle square up plus ruler. Very cool. I foresee a dawn demo coming up with these in the in the near future. Um, okay, so that's those. Patrick and Pure. Oh, here's the other thing. When we were in the um, well, the cross stitch department's right here. But if, if you're in the cross-stitch department, and we've talked about it, market is coming. Uh, Nancy and Deborah are going to be going to uh, Nashville, technically not really Nashville, Tennessee, but real close to Nashville, Tennessee, to their stitch market, which is where they're going to buy all the cross-stitch, hand-stitching, peyote beading, um, wool. There's just, it's, a, it's a needle craft market for retailers, and they'll be down there. Well, a lot of the things that we're going to be getting at that event are now on our webpage under shopping cross-stitch pre-orders. So go to our webpage, click on shop, click on cross-stitch, and then you'll have an option to look at pre-orders. And you can see everything that we're going to be ordering at the store, at the shop, at, at the market, and there'll be more than that. But that's just a start of what we'll be ordering at market, and you can shop that now so that when it comes in, you'll get it right away. So it's a real good opportunity. The other thing, um, the other thing is if you, if you don't pre-shop it, you'll still get it. It's just this is going to give you priority. So if you're a cross-stitcher and you want some of that stuff, I would suggest going to that page and shopping and placing your order now, knowing it won't arrive till mid-March, but at least you're going to get it quicker than if you waited because I'm suspect stuff's going to sell out. So there is some beautiful stuff out there this time. I, I don't know how she and Deborah are going to choose, but they'll figure it out. That's why we have them. Um, okay. A couple more things. Let's go... We're kind of jumping around today, but I feel a little squirrely, so it's okay. It's spring. We talked about the knit along. Yeah, it's spring. I'm springy. <laughs> like Tigger. Like Tigger. Boing. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, let's go up front, and I've got two things to talk about up there, and then I want to talk about yo-yos. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so I'm back up at the front of the store again. We're just hopping all over. When you got 9,000 square feet, it's a lot to put in a... 20 minute video, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. We get our exercise. So we showed these little, we never did find out how to say that if it's Chala. Let's go with Chala. Chala. Let's, Let's go, go with Chala. Chala. Okay, we're yeah. going to go with Chala. We showed these little Chala bags um, the last time we were doing this, and y'all called and bought them like crazy. I have two left out of the original shipment. A new shipment just arrived. It's still in the back room. It's being sorted because literally almost every employee, when they saw these, wanted a bag. So <laughs> we placed another big order. There's going to be more coming in. Um, we can't put these on the website, but we will next week have them available to show. So if you were interested in these bags, be sure and watch next week. And I just think it's kind of funny. Our employees, like, they really don't make any money. I just, if you come to work here, you don't, you won't make money. 
that's all there is to it. I don't care how much I pay you, you will never make any money because <laughs> you know, they spend it, they spend it, spend it, spend it. But that's great. That's why we hire people, so they'll be the, the best customer. Hey, Cappy, did I ever tell you that I really like your mug? Which one? Which mug do you like? So this is what I was talking about. This is the Happy Trails Indiana Quilters Trail Shop Hop. It's coming March 20th through March 23rd. And here's your shops. Always in Stitches, Crimson Tate, Backdoor Quilts, Quilts Plus, Quilts Quarters, and Love It So. So there's six shops. Here's the quilt. Oh, am I allowed to show this? You're allowed to show the quilt. We've oh decided gosh. it's time. So the quilt, we'll actually have it here this weekend that you can see the quilt in person with the actual little more description than what this picture shows for it. But the passports are now available. And they're $9.99. Can they include this cool mug? How awesome is that? I mean, that's worth the price of admission right there. Hey, I paid nine bucks just to have the mug. Um, what we are doing too is we will have the mugs available for sale um, and a portion of the proceeds of the, each mug sold not with the passport, but the other mugs will go to um, Mike Stevens, who passed away and was supposed his shop was supposed to be in this hop, and his block is actually in here. His block is um, these two right here, and he had designed those and was part of the process of creating this before he passed away. And so we really wanted to honor him and include him in this program. So um, anyway, this is it. We have them for sale. All the shops that are in the hop have them for sale. I would suggest. If you're going to buy one and not physically be at the stop shop when you buy it, buy it at the shop you're going to start at. So when you start the hop, you can pick it up on your first stop. Um, but if you happen to be in one of the shops and you want to buy it, buy it. Um, stinking cute. The mug is, oh my goodness. I know. All the years are going to look really good in my sewing room on a shelf. <laughs> yeah, we did a mug last year too, and it was super cute. And I kind of think the mug is our thing, because people were like, are we getting mugs again this year? It's like, yep, we sure are. So here they are, mugs again, Indiana Quilters Trail, Shop Hop. Be sure to get yours. We have a supply of them. If we don't, the other stores do too. You can get them anywhere that you want. So that's one thing. And then the other thing, one more thing, and then I'm going to stop. <laughs> The Aura Filler Up program, we have four openings left in that program. So it's, yeah, I realize, you know, we're going into March, but you could play catch up. It's $199.99. You get 12 spools of thread. You get 12 fat quarters. You get, um, I, I mean, it's just awesome. It's really a cool program. You get this cool storage case to keep your spools in which is thebomb.com. With stickers and a library card. Stickers and a library card, so we mark it each month so we know what you yeah. picked up. So we have a few spots left in this. Um, but what if there's a color we don't have? We've got all the colors. We've got 255, I don't know, 250. So we have so every color. We have every color there is. And so Noise. you come each month, you pick out your color, and you pick out a fat quarter. And at the end of the thing, you got 12 fat quarters, and you've got... Uh, 12, 12 spools of thread. You can pick all white, you can pick all black, you can pick grays, beiges, and creams, purple, pink, yellow, green, I don't care. You get to pick from this. Look can I do this. every shade of purple? Sure. Look at all these threads you get to pick from. I love it. 50 weight, um, 40 weight. You get two of the littler spools if you want. We've got a whole plan for you. So please come in and participate in this. I think if, if you haven't signed up, this makes a great birthday present. Um, like I said, we've got about four boxes left. Once those four are gone, then, then the program's gone. Or closed, I guess is the right word. I should say it's closed. Okay. That's everything on my list, Peter. What have you got on your list? Um, let me check my list. Hold on. <laughs> His imaginary list. He's looking. You can see. I need, a ca I need a camera taking a picture of you taking a picture of me. Yeah, we need, we need a GoPro that shows yeah. the two of us running around the running around shop. The looking, like chickens. <laughs> we look like chickens with our heads off, don't you we? You know, I've always wanted to get a drone, though, to do over, over store footage, but I'm not brave enough to ask the shop for a drone. You know, the budget's only so far, you know. Yeah. We gotta we gotta keep it we gotta be able to keep buying these silly chala purses because everybody else <laughs> wants to wear this. Okay. That's all I got this week for what's new. Um, I promised you a stitch along. There is a stitch along that will be posted. We decided that it's sufficient P 
people want to participate, we're going to make that a standalone video. So it will be a playlist, was the word Peter used. Playlist. Right? Playlist on our channel of each month to stitch along with the sister sampler quilt uh, project. So that's going to be a separate video. I didn't forget it. It's just we needed to do it separate so that we could get everything in and you guys didn't have to watch the same video for two Is hours. that quilt here? The quilt is here. We're going to show you the quilt. We're going to show you some blocks, alternative blocks. We're going to show you the book. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. It'll be fun. Nice. So that's it for this week. See you next Thursday.